I'm the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep me down. I'm the oh, except maybe some storage. Oh, hey, hey, hello everyone. How are you doing? I didn't realize you were there. Oh, we're still we're still missing. Okay, so how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm I'm doing well. Just a friendly, awesome guy, Super Turtle. So guys, we're having an issue here. Uh, all of my all of my storage is full. Off camera, guys, went ahead and made these 64k processors or 64k crafting storages. And I went ahead and upgraded our armor that you can see to the Supremium armor. Uh, you can see that there on the screen. Pretty neato, huh? But the problem is I keep adding more and more of these ME drives. And because our quarries are so stinking good, we fill it up really quick. So if we look here, you can see that we are pretty backed up. Um, which I mean, which is good and bad at the same time. Because... Uh, because, the, yeah, things, stuff and things. But uh, anyway, oh wait, did I, did I show you guys the the big boys I put in here? Yeah, look, 4Ks. Oh, actually, I, I did show you. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and automate the making of the ME drives so that way we can make a whole bunch. And we're going to be doing that over at the new base this episode. So I'm very excited about that. So let's go home, bossy. And let's see here. We're doing good. We're doing real good. Hello. You there. Alrighty. You launched that guy. Why am I so slow? Must be a slowness creeper or something. He killed that deer. Alright, so... There we go. We're flying. So I don't know where we're going to put this. Uh, I do know that I want all of our storage to be on this center island. Uh, I did make a little test over here. Like just seeing if I like this or not. And I did. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. So we're going to end up tearing this down. We're going to put this somewhere else. We're going to add a lot more. We're going to get some of these dense cables back. But uh, we're going to put all of our storage here. I don't know. We might actually put all of our auto crafting there. Because I'm pretty sure... That we can make a what's it called? A ploy, I ate. That's what it said. Uh, we're gonna be making a quantum ring. So we're gonna need one of these quantum link chambers. Then we're gonna need eight of these ME quantum rings. So we need to go ahead and start getting these made up. But in order to do that, we're gonna need to get some auto crafting done. So we're gonna go. I mean, I did show you guys. We did come all the way out here. Uh, but we're gonna have to head all the way back home because turtle is the dummy. I'm the best. Okay. All right. So over here, need to make some molecular assemblers like this, and we need to make some ME terminals interfaces like this. So we're gonna need to make a heck ton of these because you're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Good lord, this is annoying as heck. Now, let me grab this stuff off camera. I'll be back. Well, hello there. We are back in action, guys. Check it out. We have been doing some stuff at the island. Yes, we have all these ME controllers, guys. They're freaking awesome. Uh, it's going to look really good. It's going to be lighting up. I do think that we're going to bring them up another bit. And kind of do the opposite of this. Basically do this again, but on top. But this is a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine cube. Uh, and we're going to be using actually just the bottoms here for the connecting the channels and stuff like that. Uh, everything else is kind of just for show. Because, you know, that's how mod it is. You just got to be pretty neat. So what we need to do is I did bring my ender pouch. Ender pouch for the win. And we should have our flux port here. Let's just see how much power this is taking. So if we set this to our network, whoops, here. Um, all right, so why is it all red? All right, so it was actually a really simple fix. The The build limit for these structures is a seven by seven by seven. So we were doing a nine by nine by nine. So we had to bring everything in a block, but uh, everything seems to be working good now. Let's go ahead and close this back up. 
And I want to be able to access these other islands. So say I want to set up auto crafting on a different island. I'm going to need to make those uh, storage links. Um, let's have a look here. These guys here, the quantum ring, the quantum link chamber. So these two items, we're going to need eight of these quantum rings. And then we're going to need, so that's just an energy cell. So we're going to need quite a bit of those. But this is the, the look we're going for. We're going to have stairs that come out of here. And in the corners coming up like this, uh, I want to replace that with capacitor banks or something to hold power. So that way we have a heck ton of power. We're going to probably use these vibrant capacitor banks. And But we're going to have to set that up in a few episodes. It's going to look good, guys. Don't worry. And then we're going to have to have a step down going into our base here. So this will be like like the center. Even though it's not really the center of the island, uh, it'll be a little like less over here and less over here. There'll be more space and more space. So it'll look, it'll look pretty good. I do hope anyway. So I don't know. Do we want to? Okay, so let's work on getting those quantum. This looks sick. That looks amazing, by the way. Let's head on home. I have set my home slash base there. And this is still p pumping out fuel. Oh, well. Okay, so let's see here. Quantum link chamber. So one of these. Soon this will all be automated. So we just say, hey, we want to make X. And it goes, sure, here you go. And it makes it for us. Okay, so logic press, you in there. And this is taking too long. I had 16 hours of my time in a bottle when I started today. Now I have 12. I've used four hours for my time in a bottle already. It's freaking ridiculous. So this should be done pretty quick. Speed quick. Nice. Okay. And then we need to go ahead and make quite a few of these. So get again, using the pure Certus Quartz. And again, for some reason, the Fluix. Ah. Probably my fault, but I'm still going to be mad. So we can make a total of eight. The perfect amount that we didn't need. Okay. I'm going to get the Fluix. Sorry, this is heckin' crafty. Okay, we made too, too many of these, but that's fine. Let's go here like this. We should have enough now. Um... <laughs> Look, they just popped up. Okay, so it, it just seemed like it was glitching out, so we're okay now. But... Again, they all disappeared. What the heck? Again, disappearing act. That's, not, that's a no-no. We don't want that. Oh, look at that. There you go. All 23 of them now. Jeez Louise. Okay, so we ran out of dense cable. This is great. Okay, let me get these all crafted up. We'll be right back. Okay, so we got the dense cables we needed. So we need a total of 16 of these. Yep, like that. Okay, now we need a matter. Oh, I already have the matter condenser. Just kidding. This guy here. Yes. So we're going to take him. We're going to plop him down next to this, maybe. Nope, we don't need that. So we need to get a 64K processor. So let's see here. Uh... Sorry, storage cell. We need one of these guys. And to get him, let's see here. What are we missing? We're missing Certus Quartz Dust. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Oop, come on. Okay, so 64. Okay, so we made our first 64, our, our 64K, not our first 64K. Made two last night. Okay, so put these here like this. So this uh, matter ball singularities, 256,000 items per uh, one of those. Okay, so what do we... Um, but a cobblestone generator. Got some from Nuclear Craft. Produces two cobblestone per second constantly. What about you? 128. So we're gonna need to get a few of these. Wow! Oh, gosh, dang it! Why are you like this? <sighs> I'm starting to get kind of mad the lag on the server.
Okay, so we have the second tier one. This produces 16 cobblestone per second. So we're going to go ahead and get a conduit going and see if we can get some extraction upgrades made up off camera. So that way we can go ahead and just start yanking stuff out of here. Okay, so that's going, but it's taking a heck of a while. Let's get some extraction upgrades going. I will make these off camera. Yeah, because we're gonna need to make some more electrical steel. All right, guys, we got our singularity finally. That took forever. And so we need to go like this, and we need, what was it? One ender dust. So let's just put it here. Let's see what we, we're just gonna type it in. Ender dust. You should just be pulverized, right? Or is it this ender pearl powder? No, it's ender pearl dust. Um, it looks like the only way to make that is with a grindstone. And then we need some sticks. Like this. We take our ender pearl and we get them. Um, let's put it over here. Like this. So then I assume we just click it for a while. Okay, so we got our end, end of pearl dust. Cool. So it says to make the singularity, we need to, to create to create drop ones to create drop one singularity, one ender dust, and cause an explosion within range of the items. Okay, so we need to get some uh, TNT dynamite. Yeah, let's get some flint steel. That's not that's right. Flint and steel. All right. Let us go to the mine. And they call it a mine. Hey, this is my setup for stuff. Uh, let's go somewhere where there's no lava. Okay, there's no lava here. Maybe. All right, so we're just going to drop this, these guys, into this. So singularity and dirt dust. Okay, those seem to be pretty, pretty neat. Then right here, we light that on fire. And we got him. Cool. So that's how you do that. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, so I guess that's that's lit enough. So we're going to go here. We're going to come to our anvils. We're going to call this... Uh, turtle... Items. And that way these will be linked up. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab our, sing our, our quantum rings. Uh, where do we want to put these guys? I think, I think we're going to have to end up just putting them, kind of hiding them, which is kind of sad because these are really cool. Actually, we don't want that. We are going to go over here. So we can get around. Around town. Okay. And cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab our uh, our hammer. Hammer's not in there. Sad times. Okay. There should be a cable like right up here. Right. Yeah. So this is where the cable's at. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we can come over. Yep, we can come over with the cable. Okay, and then we'll link it up to this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this block out. All right, so the ch link chamber goes in the middle, and then this goes bing, 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 bing. It makes a multi-block structure. You take one of these, and you put it in there. Like so. And so... We need to grab some cable. Yep, some dense cable that'll work perfect. And it's over here. Okay. We're gonna run this up.
Shebang. So that's on. Okay, it only says one channel though. Okay, this the system's still on, so we we're okay there. Let's go back and check. Um, I don't know. Let's just go test that. We're gonna build one over at the the new base. Okay. So we're probably gonna have a glass floor. Yep, that linked up, good. So this should work. Yep, it's getting, it's lit up. Huh. We did something wrong. Don't get it. Um, okay, so let's just run this over and see what happens when we build on top of it. That's not where that's supposed to go. Okay, that seems to be working this time. But that is not. I take this out, everything works. Okay, so there's no issue with this guy. There's an issue with the singularities. Okay, give me one sec. I'll see what's going on. Okay, so that's the issue here. Uh, it seems we can only have like one ME controller. So the controllers are are conflicting with each other. So the one we have here, this guy, is conflicting with the other one because this see, is seen as its own network. The other one is seen as, it, as its own network. So that means we need to start moving our, our drives over. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Actually, no, they're all in here, the remaining ones, yeah. So we're gonna get a bunch of these going and I'm gonna build a cool configuration for all of our ME drives and I'll be back. I'll show you guys what I, what I got. All right guys, so we are actually completely moved out of the old base. Um, believe it or not, we are completely moved into the new base. Let's go have a look, I'll show you guys. But uh, yeah, it took a, took a freaking heck ton of work moving everything. We're gonna leave this smell tree here with my lava attached to it just in case anyone here at the round spawn needs it. But yeah, if we look down here, gonna leave this guy here and my lava power just because I don't feel like moving it. Um, yeah, we, we're gonna move out. So if anyone's like, anyone who on the server's watching this and you feel like you, or if you don't feel like it, but you need to get some rubber, just throw in some oak here. It'll process the rubber. It's actually a very quick system. So, but yeah, let's head on back to the base. Okay, so. <clears throat> I have automated, I have auto crafting set up, but I do not have like any processing set up and that's gonna be a big, a big no-no, but I have, check this out, I have two ME patterns. So if I'm up here and I need it, I have my ME crafting terminal up here and an ME crafting terminal down here. So we're gonna need to put some glowstone stuff in here, by the way, but anyway, so let's see, we're gonna need to get some uh, ME terminals. We're gonna need a lot of these guys. And of course, Nothing is set up. <laughs> okay, so let's, we're going to go ahead and just kind of steal these guys for a bit. We, we won't need the molecular assemblers just yet, but we will need these ME terminals. These are very importante. So the ME terminals will allow us to automate our furnace, our redstone furnace furnaces. And then we're going to need an alloy smelter automated. Okay, and then an enrichment, or not enrichment, um, the crushing factory. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna automate these guys first. We're just gonna put them right over here because that is necessary to get everything going. 
So if we go here like this, uh, we need, do we have, oh, my pattern terminal is up there. So do I have any patterns in here? I do, I got some blank patterns, cool beans. Let's go ahead here, we're gonna make some patterns. Okay, now we're gonna need the Elite Crushing Factory is gonna be uh, first. So we need, we need the Certus Quartz here. And then crush Certus Quartz here, like so. We also need some cable. I was going to grab this stuff here, just because we only need four. So bing, 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 bing. Okay. And then, so Redstone Furnace, Elite Crushing Factory. Alloy smelter, and if we need anything else, we could do that. Uh, so we're going to make these into this. Okay, so these should all get connected up. Are these online? Yep, they're all online. Good. For this one, we're going to have in and out on the back. Uh, and this one, we actually need to get an importer. This will take items in, actually... Well, let's set up another recipe. <laughs> so we're gonna need Fluix. Sorry about that, Amazon delivery. So we're gonna put the Fluix crystal in here. We can actually, what we can do for the meantime is have another the other ME inf interface up on top of this guy so that it will take items out of this. So we can set this up so that the output is here, and then the input is on the back, like so. So now we can automate whatever we want in here. Uh, let's see here, do, 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 for this guy, alloys only, we can configure to push pull, yep, so it receives items and crafts items, cool. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna need some Fluix crystals like this, we're running low. After we get this automated, we can automate some other things. So you go in here, auto sort, auto eject, and that's on. Cool. So that's working. Okay, and then we're here. All right. So Fluix dust is. Automated, so now we have quartz. Okay, so let's actually, we're just gonna put this down here because I don't know which is which. Those are there, so now we can make the uh, crushed stuff. Okay, maybe, I, I don't know if that worked or not. It doesn't seem to have worked. Why? Why is? Oh, we need to set this to input. There it is. That's why it didn't work. Cause I made him a derp. Okay, so let's go ahead here, make another ME interface. So we can't yet. Need to make this guy cool. So that's kind of automated for now. We need to automate so a sand into glass. We need to get that going. Um. That's actually not there. This guy. Okay. Whoops, wrong glass. Grab that and get that. Cool. So let's come up here. We're going to make another processing one. That's the end goal. Okay, so glass is now Like this. Oh, I get it. I get it because there's two ME interfaces on the factory or the crushing factory. Okay. So now we can automate glass, but we shouldn't need that. We should just be able to, oops, should just be able to do this. Now we're missing that. Why are we missing this now? Cool. All right. So we got another one of these. We're going to grab the crystal. Growth accelerator, so we're gonna automate this now. That's why we have this. 
Okay. So we're also going to need an import bus on this as well. Let's see, can we make one? Oh, look at that. We have one already. Uh, derp. We need a capacity card. We should need one of those. And some acceleration cards, maybe? I don't know. I don't think we will. So here, like so. This will all, we'll all, we'll pretty this up in a bit. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, so there's that. We're probably going to need to get power to it as well, just like that, just in case. Okay, so this has got the speed upgrades. Now we need need a few crafting stuff. So we need one sand and some fluix. Yes, fluix dust like this, like that. Okay. We have this recipe here, which is good. Um, that should be in a crafting one. Yep, a molecular assembler, so that's just a craft one. We have sand and fluix dust auto-crafted, but we need to turn the fluix seeds like this. Actually, this isn't the one we should be automating first. We should be processing. Let's do the nether quartz. Um, redstone. And charge certus quartz. Where'd you go? Hey, we're running low on charge certus quartz. And then this guy. So one two, three, and then we get the Fluix Crystal. Why am I up here? Ah, we've only got one of these. Shoot. Um, we need to make another one. This is why I came down here, because we need to make this. Bam. Cool. And there we go. So now this is automated, but what we need to set is a capacity card here so that it only takes out the flux crystals, right? So it's like whitelisted to only do that. And so now we should have those automated. Let's test it out. So if I go flux crystals and I hit this button, the middle click, Say I want 10. Are we, go are we golden? Sure are. Sweet. That is amazing. If we click this guy, we can see that they're all coming out. Five. Four. Cool. So that did work. Getting a lot of lag on the server right now. Is Shaw on? Oh, man. I'm just teasing. Okay, so it looks like we got a lot of this stuff automated, guys. Um, I'm going to keep doing some automation stuff off camera, but I just wanted to show you guys how all of this works, stuff like that. We're going to actually have a separate island for all these machines using the um, the link thingamabobs like I showed you in the last, or uh, really recently. So we'll do that. We'll put that probably, we'll probably put an elevator under here and put all of our link chambers. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, I'm Super Turtle, and I'm out. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.